Well, hi guys, welcome back to Simple Life with Chris and Tara. Today we are out in the garden again and we are excited because we got mail. As some of you saw on our Facebook group, um, we got a package in the mail and it's gonna hopefully help keep the chickens out of our garden. And actually, they haven't been doing too bad. Um, and other critters. Yeah, we will keep other stuff out too. Um, they haven't bothered it really too much yet, but maybe once stuff starts blooming, they might get a little more curious about picking stuff off of there. So we're gonna put it up anyway. And uh, well, ever since we put the the ground cover up, they seem to stay out of. It. They liked it when it was all dirt, and they got to get in there and scratch around and dust bathe in it and find worms and bugs in it. But now that we've got the ground cover on it they've been leaving it alone so that's good but let's go ahead and open it up and get it set up hopefully it'll be easy for us to set up this is the first time we've ever dealt with a premier one fence and uh, it is able to be set up as, yeah hopefully we're not going to need that right now we're just going to go ahead and set up as a fence but it, Far in as you think you're going to be comfortable with, because you need to go. So as long as you have room to get around and water and pick your tomatoes. Go ahead and push it in. Make it go even instead of cutting in like we did. Okay. Because look.
this one. Before we do it, you're going to have to undo every time to get in. like a little hair thing or something. And then when you take it off, look, you try to be able to just walk through there. You don't even have to take them on the ground. Okay, well, we got the fence put up, and this is the first time we've ever put a Premier One fence up, so it's not quite exactly the right way, I'm sure, how we did it. Um, I'm sure there's probably an easier way to install it than how we did it. But we're happy with this so far. We're just going to have to go ahead and reinforce, I think, our corners. Like a T-post or something and put in here and pull these uh, four corners a little bit tighter. But other than that, I think it's okay. We actually ended up having more room. A little extra. Yeah, extra than what we thought. We thought we were, weren't going to have enough, but ended up having more room than what we needed. And down here for the entryway, the entrance of it, we kind of had to <laughs> just adjust it a little bit because we wanted to keep, we, what we're trying to do is keep the fence bottom and all the posts all on our black weed cover so it's not in the yard so you didn't have to, um, weed around it or mow around it so our problem was trying to go ahead and get it adjusted so we ended up with the right amount at the end and so what we did was we went ahead and we wrapped and wrapped the pole a little bit we had left yeah the little bit we had left and it then we just about, did it was probably about half of one of these so maybe about four four or five foot extra yeah that was trying to adjust with we still have some sagging over on the um the sides i'm sure but, as it gets like I, said, I think same deal when we yeah get Post, see? It'll pull it up. Yeah, and we can adjust. That's a good thing about having this being a the type of fence you can move and adjust it to fit the garden better. But I think we're gonna be happy with it. Already, we've seen the cats are not happy because they couldn't come in like they wanted to. And then down here, see up here is the bigger squares. But then down here, if you, is uh, there's smaller squares that keeps it smaller down here to keep the smaller critters out, and then the squares get up bigger as you go up the fence. And then up here, of course, we used a hair tie to keep it close up here. So we'll see how that works out. <laughs> and we are happy with the garden right now. Our tomatoes, as we're out here, let's go ahead and have a look. Tomatoes are looking really good. Really happy with the raised beds, how they've been turning out so far. And tomatoes seem to really like them. And the peppers are doing good too. Of course, we usually don't have any trouble with peppers. Peppers are always seem to be really easy to grow. And then we have our cabbage. Now this time we had leftover cabbage that we uh, didn't account for, so just either we were going to toss them or 
we could put them in a pot and see how they do. So, we have these little containers. We don't know if they're actually going to work in there, if, it, if the container is too small for the cabbage plant or not. But we just went ahead and we planted them in there and they might live or they'll die. We're not sure, but at least this way we've tried it and so we're kind of excited to see how they work in there. And we also have is this green beans over here. Our green beans are starting to go up, so that's exciting. And then there's some more little sprouts right there. And then this is cucumber, is that right? So there's cucumber starting to come up. And then over here we had some more pepper plants and then three more tomato plants, which these ones down here don't look as good as the ones over there in the raised bed. So we'll see how they do. And then right here was our okra. And then we have, you can see that's on the, in the way. And there's the okra plant. And over here is our squash and zucchini. And then of course we have our flower beds. Went ahead and planted some wildflower seeds and some other like zinnias in there. And the marigolds I believe we did also. And then there's our other squash and zucchini. So we're excited. Um, so far the garden's doing really well. So, and this will definitely keep the chickens out. Or we're hoping anyways. Okay guys, um, well, we went ahead and we got a Premier One fence installed around the garden. Um, we're happy with it. I think we're gonna really like it. It's just, it was took us a little while just to kind of figure out where all we wanted the poles to be placed and how big of an area we needed for it to be fenced in. We wanted to keep it on our black tarp area. But, so go ahead and in the comments below, if, if you guys have any tips or tricks um, if you have Premier One fencing, uh, how to go ahead and maybe fix some of the areas that we have sagging, you know, if they're maybe like with a T-post to just make it a little, you know, stronger around the corners. Okay guys, well, that does it for today. So just please like and subscribe our videos and please share with somebody, uh, maybe somebody who's been wanting to do a Premier One fencing or just somebody who might enjoy um, seeing our garden. And we appreciate you guys. We thank you for all the comments and for watching our videos. And that does it for today. We'll see you later. See ya. Ha, 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 ha.